Now we get to the story of Shannon Miller. If you watch the national championships, she did one routine on the uneven bars. She then petitioned to come here to Boston to be verified. She was on Monday, whatever that means. <laughs> she got through it. She showed everybody she can do the routines. This is the first time that she will be in a two-day event in three Straight up years. On the mound. Good long tip, fast hand. She okay. had a stress fracture okay. in her leg Good that prevented swing. her from Aggressive competing swing. fully. That's Steve Nuno. Invert up, push it up. Invert pirouette, nice in tight body. In practice, at that verification full, here in Boston, form. she did not That's look good. On this event, which she did perform at the national championships. What went wrong here, guys? This was during the warm-up. She just misses her hand right there. Yikes. Good catch by Coach Nuno. <laughs> Back in, full, hit it, okay? Steve Nuno said what Shannon needs to do here right now is to turn it on and get motivated. Yeah, she has to be better than she's been. He admits that. I think Shannon knows it. This is a critical routine for her. Bella Caroli, they're counting on her to be able to do bars and being for sure at the Olympic Games. Dominique Mociano, another one of the Magnificent Seven, had to withdraw from the trials because she needs knee surgery now. It was injured in preparation for these trials, so the Magnificent Seven is now down to three. Shannon Miller, the most decorated female gymnast in American history at the Worlds and the Olympics, trying to return. Now married at the age of 23. Still extraordinarily popular. New skill for Shannon added in this new quadrennium right here. Inverted Giants. Here come the releases. Elfie mentioned the extended legs, the knees and the toes of Elise Ray. Well, Shannon Miller pretty much wrote the book on that. Going for the stick. The most decorated American female gymnast searching for more decoration and a very good beginning. And she could not have asked for a better beginning. And you know you're something special in gymnastics when they start naming skills after you. That's called the Miller right there. And knees and toes and tight. And that is what not just the U.S. judges, but the international judges are looking for. And Shannon Miller knows, more importantly, that she could fulfill a role for